Right, in this video we're going to learn about factorising. Now, you might want to know what is factorising. Factorising is putting the expressions into brackets. So remember before when we're getting rid of the brackets, sometimes we also want to put expressions back into brackets. So that's what we're doing here. So let's look at some examples. We've got 2a plus 10. Now what I do here is I just look for a common factor. Let's say I've got a 2 here. I bring that out to the front there. And I put in here what I need to multiply this by to get 2a. No, look, I get, if I put, if I've put in a, an A there, I'll just put in what I've got left over, so I've left an A, so I put the A inside the bracket, because A isn't a factor of both terms. And, and then I put here what I need to multiply. I guess 10. So that's 5. Okay, so that's what we'll get. We'll get 2a and then brackets a plus 5. So put the factor out front, and then we'll put what we need to multiply by to get this first term here. And then to get the second term, what we need to multiply that by, put that there. So let's look at another example. I can take out 3 as a factor. Now to get the 9, I need to multiply by 3. And I've got a t there as well, so... I have to put the t there, because that's not a factor of the other term. And then I've already got a 3, and then so then if I multiply that by p, I get me 3p. So I'll put a p in there. Right, now in this one, there's no number that's a factor. But if you notice, we've got a t squared and a t here. So I can take t out as a factor. Now... To get 4t squared, I need to multiply t by 4t. So I put 4t there. And then to get minus 3t, I've already got my t, so I just put minus 3 in there. And then when I multiply them, I get me minus 3t. This is a slightly more tricky example, but we need to learn how to do them. So, let's see what I can take out here. I can take out the 2. And I can take out the B. I can't take out an A or a C or a D or an A because they're not common with, all, with both terms. Say I've only got an A in this term. And I've only got a C in this term. And I've only got a D in this term and an A in this term. I don't have any of them in both terms. So, to get 8abc, I need to multiply this by 4ac. And for the next one, I need to multiply this by 3dE. This one here, I've got three terms, but it will still just do it the same way. I can take out a three as a factor. Let's see what else. I can take out an M. And I can take out a T. I've got three terms this time. And let's see what I need to multiply this by. I need to multiply by two. 
I've already got my M. That's a T squared, so I need another T there, so it's a T there. And yeah, I've already got that. So if I just multiply it by one, I get the same thing back. And here yeah, I've got a nine, so I need to multiply by three there. And M squared, so I need another M there to get me M squared. And my T just comes along. Now, another thing you might be wondering is do all expressions factorise? The answer is no. Some expressions don't factorise. And expressions that don't factorise are basically expressions with no common factors at all. So something like Or they do not factor because there's no common factors. And also you might want to know, how do we check that with factorised things, right? We we'll simply multiply out the bracket. So let's do that really quick with our examples. We get 2a plus 10. Is that right? Next one. We get 9t plus 3p. Is that right? Next one. Down the wrong number there. Yeah, four t squared minus three t. Is that right? Next one. Two b. Four a c plus three d a. Eight a b c plus. 6b d e last one here 3mt minus 1 plus 3m that's equal to 6mt squared minus 3mt plus 9m squared t and see we get that so there you go we just multiply out the brackets to see if you've factorised them right and if you have you end up with your original expression that you factorised and if you don't end up with that then you factorised it wrong and you need to try again and see what you've done where you've gone wrong. Okay, so that's all there's about factorising really.